Hi, I'm making a list of people who to follow on Twitter for my friends who have just joined Twitter. So if you want to be on that list, retweet my pinned tweet. I will add you to the list so they know who to follow. I will be explaining this in next week's video. I want to make sure I give people a list of active people to follow and who will follow them. My Twitter is in my description if you are interested. I've already started adding people to the list if you want to check it out for yourself. Today I am talking about why you are losing subscribers. The photo above is when I gain subscribers or lose them. It is on the YouTube Studios app on your phone. You can access this by clicking on analytics and then clicking on subscribers. Which reminds me, 49% of you are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Hit the bell and the like if you don't mind. <laughs> I know what I did to cause each spike in the subscribers. I also know why I lost three, which I will come back to in a minute. Take notice of the largest spike. This is my subscriber information when I access my account through Google. You go to your analytics and your subscribers. You saw on the first picture, I have only lost three subscribers. That information is correct. Now I told you to remember the largest spike. That was when I went to PewDie Studios. It was my first week. I was using my phone and I clicked on people, opened them in the background of my phone. Then when the live was over, I watched the people's videos one at a time and left a message. The next morning I checked my account and I had gained 50 subscribers. So I decided to check these apps. The YouTube Studio apps stated I had gained 50 subscribers. But when I checked on the Google Analytics, it stated I had lost 45. I personally do not use this to check my subscribers. When I revisited people, I did find accounts had been closed. YouTube does close accounts when people use them to subscribe to channels they don't watch. A lot of people have more than one account, which they use to increase numbers for others. So if the computer detects an account that has hit subscribe on a lot of channels and it hasn't watched any videos, it does suspend the account and it sends an email to the person. If the person does not respond to the email, the account is then closed. And yes, I'm probably sometimes there might be mistakes. So check your emails. Some people close their accounts due to not wanting to do this anymore, which is understandable. And troll counts get closed due to them being offensive. People who hit the subscribe on too many accounts in a short period of time, their subscription does get removed. So I don't like this graph bother me because it's their actions that are causing this. It has nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. I focus on the other one. Personally, I like this app because I know what I was doing at the time I got the increase in subscribers. So the same would be said if I had a lot of people unsubscribing to me. I'd be looking at what I did at that time to cause that. Most people do not unsubscribe once they are subscribed. So I will be checking what could have caused that. I use the apps as a guide to help, but I do not take them as gospel. It is a computer program that sends data, but if the people have not set up their accounts correctly, then the data that is sent to the apps will be incorrect. For instance, it states on my YouTube app that 100% of my subscribers are female when they are 50-50. It also states on the app that it is estimated it takes 48 hours for an accurate figure. So if you checked 
on all three different apps at the same time, you would probably get different numbers. I have when I have tried. Thank you very much for listening and leave a message and I will come and check out your latest video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.